All right, so we just had a description of all of our bullies, right? Okay. All of the bullies grouped around me in the East Wing bathroom were pretty dangerous. I had a good mix, and presently, they all looked a little cranky. They wanted to know why I had dragged them from their lunches to be here. Apparently, $10 only got me so far. I decided I'd better start talking. $10 for a conversation? Seems like a good deal to me. I bet you're all wondering why you're here, I said. A few of them nodded, and Great White scoffed. You're all here because I need your help, I continued. It seems that someone has invaded my territory. No, our territory. His name is Staples. I paused for the reaction. The younger ones gasped. I think a few of the older bullies didn't believe me. They thought, like I once had, that Staples didn't exist. But a couple of bullies looked calm or almost embarrassed. It was possible that they owned Staples' money already. Owed Staples' money already. It's true, I continued. I didn't believe it myself, but he is here, and I need your help to get him out of school. our school. Why? Why should we help you? Great White said. The, his British accent made him sound tough and cool. First, he's cheating, you guys. He's fixing all the local sports. Some of you may have debts already, and you're probably going to end up paying for them with a broken arm or maybe your iPod or bike. If you help me, your debt will be gone. Second, if Staples keeps recruiting kids here and takes over the school, there aren't going to be bullies anymore, at least not independent ones like you guys. The only bullies will be his cronies and bookies and the collector. Would you like that to lose control? I asked. Third, I'll pay you. How much money are we talking? Great White asked about the murmur, above the murmur of the other bullies. $20 for each task completed, I said. I saw Vince flinch and clench his fist. I knew he would hate that. It would set us back at least another few days to, in saving up for the upcoming Cubs game, which was probably just a few weeks away. And paying the bullies that much would basically drain our entire savings and force us to dip into the emergency fund. But the future of our whole operation was on the line. Why didn't you see that? A hush came over the bullies. That was pretty good money, considering they bullied for simple lunch money, as it was now. Thank you. A hush came over the bullies. That was pretty good money, considering they bullied for simple lunch money, as it was now. What sort of tasks? Kevin asked. Fun ones, I said and smiled. The kind that allow you to be yourselves. Great White let a sharky grin spread over his gaunt face. I saw some of the other bullies perk up, too, except for Kitten. His face looked blank, which wasn't surprising. Kitten always looked composed and rarely talked. Let's get one thing straight now. Great White said, I'm doing this for the money, not to help out you blokes. I'd just like to, sh I'd just as soon hover my baby sister's spilled shreddies every morning or skip holiday this year. I tried not to laugh. I saw some of the bullies biting their cheeks, doing the same thing. It was always hard not to laugh at the way Great White talked. Apparently, British people called vacuuming, hoovering, cereal, shreddies, and vacations, holidays. England must be one weird place. That's just fine, I said. Tell yourself whatever you need to. Just remember that if we don't take down Staples now, then you run the risk of going from the bullies to the bully. I think some kids is just, I think some kid is just going to come in here and start pushing us around because you think some kid is just going to come in here and start pushing us around because of some stupid gambling thing. Psst, whatever. The hut slurred. He wasn't the only one who seemed unconvinced. Look, you can believe me or not. If you want the truth, I don't really care either way you think, way what you think. Let's just say that you're right and that Staples never will be a threat to you guys. If that's true, then what have you got to lose by helping me? Nothing. All you have to do is a few basic odd jobs and you'll be much richer for it. I'm basically making charity cases out of all of you. Why in the heck would any of you turn me down? Are you scared or what? Are you calling me a chicken? Little Paul asked. His little fist was balled up, and he took a step forward. I took a small step back, wary of his first strike cap cap capabilities. No, of course not, I said. Not if you're willing to help me out. But if you are too chicken to help, believe me, I totally understand. I mean, who could blame you, right? Several bullies shuffled their feet, and I saw most of them glancing around at one another to see who might be the first to show fear, which is the ultimate sign of the weakness for a bully. 
one flash of vulnerability with everybody watching and their status as school bully could come crashing down in the blink of an eye. After nobody spoke for a few more seconds, I finally said, good, it's nice to see that none of you are too scared or stupid to turn down such a lucrative offer. What what kind of offer would a lucrative offer be? A good offer. Yeah, they're going to get a lot out of a lucrative off offer. What's our first, like, task or whatever, Nubby asked. The first task is the elimination of Barnaby Willis, otherwise known as the collector. I want him taken out immediately. Just, like, go beat him up or what? Kevin asked. It's more than that. I want him to be completely convinced that it's in his best interest to stop collecting kids permanently. I'm ordering a hit on him. In movies, that usually means killing the guy or dumping him into the river or something. Obviously, I don't want that. I just want him to stop collecting debts. Understand? I said, the bullies looked at me with blank stares. I sighed, look, I want you to collect him. Take his stuff. Do whatever you have to do. Just make him know what he feel, what it feels like to be collected. Make Barnaby Willis wish that he'd never come to school today. Again, I just got more blank stares in response. I guess that's why these kids are bullies and not honor students. Okay, look, meet, me, meet up with me at the start of, the, of late recess, and I'll tell you exactly what to do, all right? What about me? Prep school asked, her arms crossed and her hip jutting out like she had better places to be. What am I supposed to do? I'm not getting involved in any fighting, okay? I can't risk losing my acceptance into Hanover Academy. Plus, I just got a Manny, you can't, if you know, if you couldn't tell. I hit a smirk. No, you can start by spreading a rumor about the collector that causes kids to laugh at him instead of fear him. Hey, I don't deal in rumors, okay? What do you take me for? I'm not like some lame gossip girl. I don't have time for this kid stuff. I look her right in the eyes until she looks away. Well, I guess there's no reason for you to be here then, is there? I guess that saves me some money too. You can go now. She didn't move. Wait, you said $20 for each task if I go along with this stupid thing, right? I nodded. Fine. She sighed as she shifted her weight so that her other hip was now pointing at me like some sort of huge accusatory finger. Same with you, I bully. Your job is to try and destroy Barnaby's street cred by breaking into whatever personal online account you can find for him. I bully wheezed and nodded while his fingers flickered rapidly across a touchscreen phone he'd been fiddling with the whole time. Knowing him, he'd probably been hacking into Canada's Homeland Security database just while we were talking. I smiled. All right, I'll see the rest of you at the start of the late recess. Then, except for Kitten, I need you to stay, stick around for a minute. I've got a special assignment for you. The rest of the bullies started leaving. As Brady ushered them out of the bathroom, I looked at their eager faces while trying to ignore the sudden feeling that I was letting loose a bunch of wolves into a flock of lambs. Soon, only Kitten was left. He looked at me, waiting for a special assignment. Now that a plan to take out the collector was in place, it was time to move to phase two. Kitten, I said, leading him toward the fourth stall. How would you feel about convincing someone to come in for a meeting with me? His face remained expressionless, except for poss except possibly for the barest hint of a smirk. I thought so, I said, and then proceeded to tell him exactly what I had in mind.